right, Steph, I am here today doing our probably last grocery haul for the month of January. Um, I am trying to cut our grocery budget in half this month and spend around $300. I'm not super concerned if I go over a little bit because I'll still be saving like $300. Um, and today I'm going to go to at least three stores, maybe four, because I have to drive past a fourth anyway. Um, so... Right now I'm at Sprouts because they have actually the best price on produce in our area. Lately they've been even better than Aldi and they're much closer to my house than Aldi is. Um, and so when I leave here I actually have to drive past a fresh market which I've never been to before so I might stop at fresh market too and then I have to go to school because Donnie forgot his permission slip for um, an event that they are having today so I need to drive to his school and sign a permit an extra permission slip for him and then i need to on the way back i'm going to stop at Publix because his school is like literally a block from a Publix. and then on the way back from there i'm also going to stop at winn dixie because it is friday and they are starting their weekend sale today and there's some really good prices on things like cereal for their weekend sale so i have a lot of errands to run today and here we go Okay, so I just stopped in Fresh Market, and that took like less than five minutes because it ended up being a gigantic waste of my time. Um, I'd never been in a Fresh Market store before, but it's literally right across the street from Sprouts where I was, and it's also across the street from uh, Publix. Um, so I thought I'd check it out. I went in, and it's very nice in there. It's set up sort of like a old school farmer's market. There's like wood and awnings over stuff, um, but everything was literally about twice as expensive as it was over across the street at Sprouts. So like their iceberg lettuce was two fifty, for example, which should definitely you should definitely be able to find iceberg for less than a dollar. Um a couple of other things. It's like the spaghetti squash I just got across the street for ninety eight cents a pound. Over here it was like a dollar ninety eight a pound. Um so almost everything I bought I checked the prices on and they were at least twice as expensive or more. Um, the bananas were kind of similar in price. It was still cheaper at Sprouts by about 10 cents, but it wasn't too bad over here, but everything else was crazy expensive. So I don't think I'll be checking out Fresh Market anymore. Hey, and now I'm here at school. I just went in and signed Donnie's permission slip. And so I am very close to Publix. I need to run in there. Um, they have vegan cheese on sale, buy one, get one free this week, so that's really all I need in there, but I'm going to look and see if they have any markdowns or anything, and then I'm going to go to Winn-Dixie. It probably seems like I'm running all over everywhere, but it's actually only 10.30, and I left my house at 9.30, and I'm already finished three of my errands, so I'm hoping within another hour or so I'll be back at home. <laughs> okay, it's 11 o'clock now. I am at Winn-Dixie, so, um, I already spent... 19 something at Sprouts and another 19 something at um where was I Publix and so I only have about 23 24 dollars left in my budget for this month so we'll probably end up going a little bit over but that's fine um I was only challenging myself to try to save 50 percent for fun we don't like we're not in a desperate situation where we need to do that so that's fine um I'm still really happy that we're saving several hundred dollars on our grocery budget this month and feeding um, seven people for 300 and something dollars remains to be seen. I'll still have to get probably milk and eggs a couple more times throughout the month. Um, but this haul from Winn-Dixie should probably be the last major grocery haul that I do in January. So here we go. Okay, so I ended up going to three different stores today. And I got quite a bit of food, um, more than we really needed. So I am a little bit over budget, but I'm all right with that. Cause I figure if we end up spending $350 or so this month, I'm still saving $250 over my regular budget. Um, again, we are a family of seven. We have two adults and five kids. Um, our kids range in age from eight to 12. So I'll go ahead and show you what I got today at Sprouts, Publix, and Winn-Dixie. We live in the Tampa, Florida area. Um, so today at Sprouts, if you can see it, doesn't want to focus, I spent 
$19.98. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, and I only got produce there. I got celery, cucumber, pineapple, um, some spaghetti squash, bananas, apples, um, a green bell pepper, avocados, tomatoes, a jalapeno, oranges, and blueberries. And the reason that I like to go to Sprouts is because they do have the best prices on produce of anywhere around us. For example, this pineapple was, I believe, 98 cents. I'm looking right now. I think it was 98 cents a pound or something um, for the pineapple at Sprouts, but at um, Winn-Dixie, the pineapples were $4.99 a piece. So I ended up saving some money that way. The spaghetti squash also was a lot less expensive. Um, it was, I think, 98 cents a pound, and it was a pound and a half, so I paid $1.55 for the spaghetti squash. And in some of the other stores I went to, it was just a lot more expensive. Um, the bell peppers were 69 cents there. They always have, well, I say always, but from what I've seen since we've lived here, they almost always have the best prices on avocados. Those were 77 cents this week. Um, and all the other stores have them on sale for like a five for five deal or whatever. They're always end up being about a dollar at most of the other stores. And um, Sprouts usually has them for between 50 and 75 cents, uh, 77 this week. Also the cuties at Sprouts I've seen lately for under $3. Same with, this is I think more than a pound. I wanna say it's 18 ounces of blueberries. Um, for less than three dollars, I think it's two ninety eight. So they have the best prices on produce, so that's why I went a little bit out of my way, not too much, but like three miles out of my way to get the produce at Sprouts. And then I also went to Winn Dixie and got most of our stuff there today. Um, I like shopping at Winn Dixie the best in our area because Winn Dixie makes it the easiest for me to use digital coupons. They have a really nice app. Um, that I can earn points back and get additional money off groceries. So um, see like today it printed me off $5 off on my next order, for example, and um, stuff like that. So today at Winn-Dixie, I spent $86.61. Sorry, there you go, $86.61 um, at Winn-Dixie. And I got all this stuff here in the middle. I definitely could have done a little better budget-wise at Winn-Dixie, but um, because again, I'm just doing this budgeting for fun, I figured we might as well be happy and have what we wanted. Plus it was lunchtime and I was hungry, so there's definitely a couple things in here that I could have saved money on just by not going to the store hungry. Um, again, if you watch our other videos, my husband is doing um, kind of keto right now and so I got some different meat products for him and eggs and things um, in this grocery haul. These packets of lunch meat. I got turkey and beef. Um, Winn-Dixie has these small two ounce packages almost always on sale for 70 cents. So I picked those up. I got him some pepperoni. I got shredded cheese. There's another pack of shredded cheese somewhere. <laughs> now I'm wondering if I didn't bring it back in. Do you see the other shredded cheese? I know I bought two. Um, anyway, so I got mozzarella cheese and I did get a shredded cheddar cheese that I'm not seeing right now. But anyway, um, at the bakery section, they had these biscuits on sale. Normally they're a dollar, but they were 50 cents off. So it's 50 cents for um, a container of three biscuits from the bakery. So I'm gonna use those tonight. We have some leftover um, like breaded chicken that I'm gonna put on there and make sort of mock Chick-fil-A breakfast sandwiches for the kids for dinner tonight. Um, I got a bag of rice, cheese sticks, rice cauliflower, um, tater tots, water. I got these Nutty Buddies the kids really like to snack on. This is one of the things I just grabbed because I was hungry and it looked good while I was there. I could have probably not bought these, but I wanted to try them. Those are vegan um, buffalo wings. Oh, duh. Here's the shredded cheese. Um, milk. I got some whipped topping. Eddie 
has had a little bit more of a sweet tooth than normal now that he started keto recently. So he's just been taking like a spoonful of this at night um, when he wants a dessert so he doesn't get too off track. And then um, I got some sour cream. I got some shrimp. They have a really good price on the shrimp. I paid $3.60 for, um, for this already steamed and seasoned shrimp. I got some um, fillets. It's a steelhead. I don't know. It looked like salmon. I'm not sure exactly what kind of fish this is, but I got this for Eddie too. Um, it was on sale for $5.57, but it also had a quick sale sticker on it for $2 off because the sell-by date is tomorrow. So he'll either eat that tonight or we'll freeze it. So I paid $3.57 for the fish. And then I got some bacon, frozen corn, the potato chips. It's just kind of to have a snack available for the kids. I got some tortilla chips, um, lettuce frozen waffles. The frozen waffles at our store, the store brand, are about $1.50, maybe like $1.59 or something per box. I got two boxes of those, a bag of frozen broccoli. Um, I've never tried these vegetable bouillon cubes before, but I had some vegetable broth in my cart, and then I noticed that the vegetable broths were $1.99 per container, and, <clears throat> excuse me, and these bouillon cubes, so I was gonna buy two of them for about four dollars. And these bouillon cubes were, I want to say, a dollar twenty-nine, and it's equivalent to three of the containers that I was about to buy. So it was a much better deal. So we'll see if I like that. Um, I got just some store brand mayonnaise, ketchup, um, some Frank's hot sauce, uh, black tea bags, and some of that stuff. Like if we were really strapped for cash right now I would have just waited until next month to buy it but um we wanted it and we do have wiggle room in the budget so I went ahead and grabbed it um black beans chickpeas they had the weekend sale going on since it's Friday and normally these boxes of cereal the Kellogg's brand name are $3.99 but they are $1.79 right now as part of the weekend sale and I also had a manufacturer coupon for a dollar off if you bought two boxes of the Kellogg cereal. So I ended up paying um, about a dollar thirty a box, something like that. Um, I got almond milk, and then that was everything I bought at Winn Dixie. And then at Publix, I spent $19.94. So again, right around the $20 mark. And um, I probably didn't have to buy some of the produce but because um, I already had some from Sprouts, but they had a better price on strawberries and green beans. So I grabbed those there. This big box of 30 eggs was $3.97. And Eddie's been going through a lot of eggs um, the past couple weeks for breakfast and stuff doing keto. This was the main reason that I wanted to pop into Publix because um, they do carry the Miyoko's vegan cream cheese, and um, it was buy one, get one free. So I grabbed two of those. I use this. You can use it just as cream cheese, obviously, but I also sometimes will mix it with marinara sauce to make a creamy vegan pasta sauce, or I um, mix it with a little bit of pureed sweet potato and turmeric to make a vegan mac and cheese that the kids like. And then this is some tur turkey sausage sticks, kind of like jerky that I bought as um, a snack for Eddie to take with him to work because he's kind of lacking on the vegan snacking, I mean, um, the keto snack options right now. So that's another thing that kind of jacks up our grocery budget is that I eat a vegan diet and my husband eats keto, which is kind of the exact opposite. Um, I do a, a higher carb version of keto that has a lot of potatoes and grains and stuff um, and obviously keto is not that so we have to kind of buy twice as much as we normally would and then all of our kids just kind of eat whatever um, but anyway that's what we got this week so let me know below if you have any questions and thanks for watching please like and subscribe